Today's effort, we left Kununurra, left that fabulous uh, Kununurra showgrounds park up. Great, had a good night there with the uh, custodian there, Ken. Ken Austin, look out for him. He's got a good voice on him. Um, we were going to travel about 127, 130 k's to Bow River or Bow Creek for a stop. Uh, we went past, we went into it and it was just uh, a black top with some chairs and tables and no trees around so we could have done it but um, we elected to drive another 65 odd k's I think I call this one Moloch uh, or Fletcher's Creek and uh, yeah it's a nice little spot so far pretty much got it to ourselves there's one other car over here and one van over there not too sure whether they're going to be all staying the night but I think this looks like a good spot for us to stay so um, we're only about 14 k's from the turn off to the Bungle Bungle Holiday Park and I believe there is a heliport there or something, um, the uh, heli spirit I think it is we're going to go with tomorrow. So if we stayed at the 130k one uh, out at uh, Bow Creek um, it would have been a 77, 80k drive and uh, our flight's at uh, 7.45 I think it is, so didn't want to make it a too early start and get on the road and you got ruse about and that sort of stuff, so we elected to drive another 60 odd k's down to here, park up, and we've got a very short run. There's a truck about to come by, there's a road nearby, probably once again a 100 odd yards to the road, but bugger all traffic on during the day, I can't really see too much during the night. I should also add the um, the road was pretty good from Kununurra, probably around about that pullover spot at um, Bow Creek, I think it was. Um, a little narrow, and they are doing a lot of roadworks, uh, little patches there, and doing some uh, some some widening. As I just said, it was narrow. So um, yeah, just take it easy on that stretch. So yeah, that's it. Till tomorrow. Here at uh, Halley Spirit in uh, the Bungle Bungles, they really turn it on for you there. They include a departure lounge and you do not have to be a VIP member to have the use of the departure lounge. So yeah, just waiting, we're next, just waiting for our um, chopper to come back. Obviously we have to go through a passenger safety briefing. And uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the park, the Bungle Bungle Park. Full as, pays to uh, book well in advance. There's some cabins down there. And I don't know, but it looks like some storage over here. I wonder whether if you're going four wheel driving, you could drop your van off. Pay to make a little inquiry into that. And then there's some safari tents at the back there too.
Well, not long, just finished our flight over the Bungle Bungles. Great, great, great flight, just speechless. It was awesome. Um, it's a big area back there, and man, that that range is, is massive. It's really, really huge, and uh, interesting to see how one side, you know, was just sheer cliff sides, and then the other side all being eroded, of which, you know, forms a lot of those Bungle Bungle type formations. Pretty awesome. Anyway, just down the road, only a few k's, probably about 10 k's down the road. Um, called into Leicester, I think it is, Leicester uh, rest area. So, starts up back, there's uh, over the side there the bridge, you come across the bridge and swing into the uh, top part of it there. And we've just, uh, it splits into about three little spots. So, there's the top bit that we just pointed to. Come down, with this next bit here. And over on the far side there, if you're a bit of a four-wheel driver, you have a park up out there and some little more peace and quiet places. So yeah, she's hot as, left you doing a bit of work down there in the van. Uh, yeah, there you go, I think you might cop it there. Can be a nice night though, it's a good, good, uh, good feeling, it's nice. We'll go up and have a look at a, um, a board that is, uh, I believe, in memory of the a certain person may have passed away and the park's been named after or something. We'll look at it. So here you go. Some information on this park that we're in, Leicester. Rockford, Leicester. He was born in 1986. Died in a single vehicle accident on the 4th of July, 1999. 13 years old. Interesting thing here, you can see all the money on the, on the memorial here. And a lot of it's all five cent pieces and it was because uh, when he was at uh, boarding school or something there the local ladies still remember they just uh, um, picking up five cents pieces in the park um, his brief briefcase from school was found to be full of five cent pieces so every time um, we they see a, a five cent piece they say that uh, he's popping up to say hello, to bring some joy for your day. So there you go, have a thought. Whenever you've got those five cent pieces around, it doesn't say sort of what happened. It was a single car accident, but it really um, highlights the need for these rest areas and for people to utilize these rest areas just to take a break and take it easy so they don't end up being a, another statistic. So check the local Garzies. Nice. Rubbish facilities over here. It's good to see they've got lids on them. The amount of them that you see around, they don't have lids and then the crows come along and tear all the rubbish out, leave it littering all over the place. But good one, the crows aren't making a mess and uh, the site's really clean and tidy. It's a top effort to uh, travellers and uh, the workers that come on through and tidy these joints up, they look good. So um, yeah, gets the old tick. Back down to the van and uh, pull, up a, pull up a chair and enjoy it under the, the shade of the awning and the heat of the day. It's about 29, 30 degrees again. So we've just gone past 11 o'clock, so yeah, it's going to be warm. Well, as you can hear, vehicle running in the background sun in my eyes this morning <laughs> she's a beautiful morning um, we're off um, I think we're gonna go to Mary Pools today we're gonna try I think it's uh, 170 odd K's from here um, yeah heard some good things about there hey great great spot here Leicester just a bit, very highly recommended fitted um, a, a fits a lot of vans I think I'd say there's like 20 odd vans here today and you just don't see them look at them we've got already this morning but uh, it's um, been a nice spot we had a fire last night stars were good road noise minimal so yeah highly recommended spot down here but uh, onwards